Are you struggling to initialize an array in a loop while coding in Java? You're not alone. Today, we're gonna to tackle this common issue and show you how to do it efficiently. I completely understand how confusing it can be when you're new to Java and trying to manage arrays dynamically. It can feel overwhelming, but don't worry, we will simplify it together. Here's the specific question we're addressing. A user asked how to initialize an array in a loop where the size of the array is determined by user input. They provided a code snippet that looks like this for loop with user input for the array size. Sound familiar? Let's dive into this and find a solution. So what's the issue here? Each time you create a new array inside the loop, you're losing the reference to the previous one. This can lead to inefficient memory usage and potential performance issues. Let's explore a better approach and stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a pro tip that will help you manage arrays more effectively in Java. To efficiently initialize an array in a loop in Java, the user should first declare the array outside of the loop. This way, the array can be reused without needing to create a new one each time. Next, the user should use a single loop to read the size of the array and then initialize it. This will help in managing memory more effectively. After initializing the array, the user can then fill it with integers using another loop. This keeps the code organized and efficient. Finally, the user should consider using a list instead of an array if the size is not known beforehand. This allows for dynamic resizing. Fun fact, did you know that Java was originally designed for interactive television? It has come a long way since then, especially in handling data structures like arrays. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach suggested by another user involves using a list of arrays. In this method, you initialize the list outside the loop and then create and add arrays to the list during each iteration. Let's move forward and look at another answer. An alternative approach suggested by another user involves using a list to store multiple arrays. They create an array list to hold the arrays, allowing for dynamic sizing. Inside the loop, they read the size of each array and initialize it accordingly. After populating the array with integers, they add it to the list. Let's move forward and look at another answer. An alternative approach suggested by a user involves using an array list instead of a traditional array. In their method, they initialize an array list with the size specified by the user input. Then they loop through to add each integer input directly into the array list. Here's the pro tip I promised. Always prefer using array lists for dynamic data. They handle resizing automatically, making your life a lot easier. And there you have it. You now know how to initialize arrays more efficiently in Java. Remember, using array lists can save you a lot of headaches. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more programming tips and tricks.